I am so excited to show you guys how easy it is to dry petals from flowers in your garden, such as chamomile, lavender, calendula, that you can use in your own DIY projects. They add so much beauty to things like bath salts and candles, and you can even use them for oil infusions, and it is so easy. So let's jump right on in. Hey there! If you're new, my name is Haley, and I am so glad you are here on my channel. Around here we do all kinds of DIYs featuring lots of flowers and other natural materials, so if you are interested in either of those things, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will know every time I post a new project. The first thing we need to do is grab the flowers we'll be using. Here I have some flashback calendula. And then you'll just grab a baking dish and put a piece of parchment paper on the bottom. Once you have it all ready, you can just go ahead and start pulling off your petals. And we'll need them to be as single layered as possible, so you might need more surface space, like a cookie sheet or some kind of bigger pan. Calendula has so many different uses. It has some really good properties in it, especially if you're going to be making something like bath salts or salve or lotions. It's very good for your skin. This is one of my favorite flowers that we grew, but it was very hard to use them because the stems were really, really short. But the flashback calendula has so many pretty colors in it. Had really nice peaches and coral colors and this yellow and gold here that you see. And that really deep red, they're just so pretty. You would use the same process if you're doing something like chamomile or lavender also or even roses, those would be great too. Once you have all your petals taken off from the stem, you're just going to spread them out the best you can to try to get a single layer. It won't be perfect, but the better you can do, the faster they'll dry. Then we'll just leave them for a couple days. And when you come back, they should be all the way dry, there shouldn't be any moisture left, and you'll want to find some kind of airtight container. I'm just using this flip top jar here. That way they won't get any exposure to moisture or dust, and we'll just be able to keep them in a safe place till we're ready to use them. Once you have them all in, you are done. That's it, it's so easy. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and it helped you out. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up. I am so looking forward to all the projects we're gonna be making with some dried petals coming up super soon. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, that way you won't miss them. And I hope you guys are having a great week and I'll see you later. Bye guys.